find Diana in the wonderful, vivid, super cool 80s. very important to me to shoot this on film. I believe in it tremendously. It still has a quality that nothing else can duplicate. I actually got the opportunity to shoot on IMAX, which was mind blowing. The footage that you get back from it is stunning. It's like nothing else. If you get to see this film projected in film on a full size IMAX screen, you'll never forget it. We really wanted the film to have a sense of spectacle, and IMAX is just one of the most incredibly immersive mediums in the film arena. Petty's vision for this movie is so ambitious. The stories are personal and beautiful and intimate, but at the same time, they're huge and big and mind-blowing. There's a quality to emulsive print filmmaking. It's like the highest level of a oil paint quality for an artist. The movie is already so visceral and vivid and beautifully shot, and seeing it on IMAX is just gonna take it to the next level. It just looks gorgeous, and everybody looks beautiful. And the world is so big, the quality is so high. It's just a great experience. I love Kristen Wiig. We have this beautiful friendship. It was an instant connection, and we have a very similar sense of humor. Wow, you're so funny. No one's made me laugh like this in such a long time. Miguel is a great scene partner and friend, but at the same time, we can immediately go into like those scenes where we have that sort of super villain hero rivalry. <laughs> Gal and Kristen make like this awesome duo. God, that was pretty good. It's great to see that love and friendship blossom. It just filled me with joy. Gal and I love each other. <laughs> She's brilliant. I love fashion. I get to live out my fantasies, the tie skirts and the leggings. Barbara's shoes. They had an enormous platform with Swarovski crystals and gold plates on them. So if you looked at them with your eyes squinting, they looked like an animal print. You look amazing. I'll take it. We didn't want a cliched 1984. We were able to have a little more dynasty s reality. It was bringing modernity to the period, not in a caricatural way. The world of Wonder Woman 1984 is one of excess and the message that you can have it all. Everything's big, the shoulder pads are big, the hair is big, and the cars and the watches and all of it. Life is good, but it can be better. All you need is to want it. It was cool to focus on what was the greatest art, fashion, design, and music, and referencing all of that. Visually, it's unbelievable. This world was a beautiful place. We find Diana in the wonderful, vivid, super cool 80s. Diana looks so elegant and beautiful. It was fun to bring all of those dimensions and all that subtlety to it. You don't get out? No. Seem like the kind of person who's like always out. <laughs> Revlon's a very well-known makeup product, but what really brought Revlon to my attention was when we were shooting in Washington, and it's very humid, and I knew we were going to be going to Spain and Fortaventura. I looked at the product, and it's utterly brilliant. You can put it on fine, you can put it on a little bit thicker, and it absolutely stays. And that's the case with the colour, state, foundation, lipstick, eyeshadows, so I'm incredibly impressed with it. The gala was a fantastic scene. It was supposed to be the high end of 1984. High celebrities, politically powerful people, and we were able to do these wonderful looks very much of that time. What was great about using Revlon for that was they were able to give us all their old colors. They sourced all the colors that they used to use in the 80s, and so we knew we were absolutely true. Patty, you know exactly what she's looking for, and you're fulfilling her image. And her research was so comprehensive, and her color tones were great. And in fact, it looks fantastic.